Delegates and guests, please welcome California Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tony Thurmond. Greetings, California Democrats. It's Tony Thurmond. I'm honored to serve as your state superintendent of public instruction. In 2018, you endorsed me to serve in this great role. I'm before you again now, asking for your endorsement as I seek re-election to continue the great work to support our 6 million students in this state. What a difficult time it has been since we were together last in San Diego for the last convention. COVID deaths. We've seen disruption in our communities, fires and wildfires. We've watched acts of hate and racism, the killing of George Floyd, the spike in hate against our Asian American and Pacific Islander community. We've seen attacks against our transgender youth and our LGBTQ plus communities. It has probably been the most difficult time that we'll experience in our lifetime, but we're more than a sum of our circumstances and we move together to support all because we are stronger when we work together. As the pandemic began, we moved to make sure that our kids who didn't have the most basic tools to get an education would get support. We were able to move resources to make sure that more than a million students in our state would get access to a computer, get access to hotspots and get access to low cost internet. We also addressed the basic needs of our students, providing more than 800 million meals for our hungry kids and their families. And of course, providing 3 million rapid COVID tests for free for our schools. As our schools moved to reopen, uh, we set our sights on supporting learning recovery. As we speak, we are focused on making sure that every single four-year-old in this state will have access to universal preschool. Universal meals for all students, regardless of their financial background. We're providing anti-racism training in our classrooms at a time when most states refuse to talk about the impacts of racism and the impacts of slavery. And we're providing mental health services and community schools programs so that our students can have access to healthcare, to mental health services, and access to transformative services that will help us to end our school to prison pipeline because we must educate our youth, not incarcerate our youth. The pandemic has spotlighted the, inequi the inequity that has existed uh, through our education systems for decades. As we move forward, we must build a system that's better than what we've ever had before, ensuring that we can provide a great education for all of our youth. We must first and foremost help our young people heal from the trauma of the pandemic. And that's why as we speak, we're working on a plan to help us recruit 10,000 new mental health counselors to support our students. We must continue to focus on our students' learning recovery. And that's why we're working right now to ensure that our children learn to read by third grade. Because we know that when children learn to read, they can read to learn anything. And that when children learn to read by third grade, they're more likely to graduate than end up in the criminal justice system. And we must make sure that we create an environment where our students can thrive. And that's why we're working right now to make our students get access to learning more languages, to learning computer science, and to getting access to paid internships so they can prepare for the jobs of tomorrow. I know that we can do all these things and support our youth with the promise of education because in my own life, education was a game changer. Before you is the descendant of slaves, and immigrants from Panama. I lost my only parent to cancer when I was six years old, and I ended up being raised by a cousin who I met for the first time when I showed up on her doorstep. We were raised on the free lunch program, on public assistance, and government cheese. And it was the promise of education that my teacher shared with me in saying that my life would be better than it started, and it, than it has been. And we must keep the same promise for our six million students in this state. I am honored to be endorsed by great Democrats like our U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, our U.S. Senator Alex Padilla, uh, by our Governor Gavin Newsom, by the California Teachers Association, the California Federation of Teachers, our Classified Employees Association, by NARAL, and by Equality California. I'd be honored to earn, and I'd be honored to earn your endorsement as we go forward in keeping the promise of education for our six million students. Thank you and enjoy this great convention.